Hey KE, this is Caitlin and McKenna, back with your weekly broadcast on KES TV. This week is going to be very warm. Let's head over to Ellie for the weather this week. Hey KE, this is Ellie, back with weather. Today it will be in the high 70s and low 30s. The weather this week is in the high 50s and the low 60s. Bye KE. It is going to be very warm this week. Now let's he- head over to Ellie for birthdays. Hey, K.E., I'm Ellie, and I'm back for birthdays. Happy birthday on the 21st to Liam Ross. Make sure to go to the library for a birthday book. Bye, K.E. Now Tucker and Easton are going to show you a PSA, which stands for Public Servants Announcements. Thanks, anchors. This is a PSA with Easton J and Tucker K. That stands for Public Service Announcement. Today's an announcement is all about how to not cheat your Chromebook. Oh, it's not good for your Chromebook. Now let's see how to not break Chromebooks. Man, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna go get some water. There's a wall. I would stop breaking our Chromebooks, please. That was a PSA with Tucker K and Easton J. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. That was a good lesson not to do bad things with your Chromebook. Now let's head over to Ellie and Whitley for Make It. Hey, K.E. This is Ellie and Whitley, back with another Make It video on K.E.S. TV. Hey, Whit, did you know April showers bring May May flowers? Yeah, but isn't it March? Oh, whatever. It's still flower planting season. True. Plant a flower day is on March 12th. Here's how to make a flower craft. The supplies are red, yellow, green paper, you have a yellow pom-pom, a stapler, scissors, and lastly, liquid glue. Here's how you make it. So first, you're going to take your red pieces of paper, there's four, and you cut them in like one inch pieces, and first you're going to make an X with them, and then you're going to put them through the middle to make like a snowflake. And then you're going to hold it with your finger in the middle. And then you're going to fold each side up to make the um, leaves on your flower. And then after you're done folding all of them, you are going to gently pick it up and staple the middle of it. And then after you're done folding all of them, you are going to gently pick it up and staple the middle of it. You'll staple all the pieces together. And then you will take your liquid glue in a pom-pom, and you will glue it onto the flower and make sure to cover the staple, just like that. And then you're going to take your green piece of paper, and you're going to put glue on it, and then you are going to glue it to the yellow paper. And the green paper you cut in inch. And then you take the flower and you glue that on with your liquid glue. Your pom-pom is probably going to come off a few times. Just make sure you hold it there so the place is dry. 
and then you stick it on with the glue and you glue it on. You have two leaves with the green paper and you glue them on to the Hey McKenna, what animal loves a baseball game? I don't know. What is it? A bat. Ha <laughs> ha. That now let's go over to Olivia for Would You Rather. Thanks, Sinkers. Today we're gonna try a new segment, Would You Rather with me. So let's start. Ellie, would you rather go to the future and talk to your future self or go to the past and talk your pa to your past self? Past. Why? Because it would be fun. Thank you. Sin, would you rather dance with a leprechaun or dress like a leprechaun? Dress like a leprechaun. Why? Uh, because I don't really like dancing. Okay. Tucker, would you rather be as be as small as a leprechaun or be as quick as a leprechaun? Well, I only am kind of small, so I'll just be pretty fast, I okay. guess. Why? Because I'm small okay. already. Thank you. Yeah. So overall, would you rather have more time or more money? Mm, probably more money. Why? Because I'm a teacher. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now back to the anchors. That was so cool. First graders have been working on St. Patrick's Day chatter picks. Let's head, let's watch a few. Is how to find my pot of gold. You should put a trap to catch me. I am tiny. I can hide good. Good. It ended good. Is how you find my pot of gold. First, you find a place I like to have a picnic. Then you invite me to the picnic. Next, next you ask me to take you to my pot of gold. Finally, you ask me if you can have my gold. Split the gold with your friend. This is how you find my pot of gold. Here is how to find my pot of gold. First, gather some stuff. Wait until it rains. When it rains, go follow the rainbow. Then you will see a pot of gold. You could save it for college and give it to people in need. This is how to catch me. To find my pot of gold. Step one, find a rainbow. Step two, go to the end of the rainbow. Step Three, get the pot of gold. You could give it to homeless and charity. It's how to find my pot of gold. Dress up like a leprechaun. Don't ask the scientist to shrink you. Finally, you will find me and ask me to take you to it. Here is how to find my pot of gold. First, you have to find the end of a rainbow. Then go to my house. Then ask me, can I take a piece of your gold? Now let's head over Liam and Elijah for everybody's favorite segment, Tiny Talk. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to asking, asking Tiny Humans Tiny, tiny Questions with a Tiny, tiny Microphone. <laughs> this is Liam and Elijah. We will be your new host of Tiny Talk. What's your name? Aspen. How can you find a pot of gold? Walk over a rainbow. Thank you. What's your name? Gage. What color did St. Patrick's Day used to be? Um, red. Thank you. What is your name? Cora. What do you think they dye green on St. Patrick's Day in Chicago? Mm, I don't know. Why? Because I <laughs> no, I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. What's your name? Maverick. How do you catch a leprechaun? Uh, this gets some gold and make a letter and send it to the leprechaun and say it's gold at my house and you the leprechaun will come and and then it will be um treasure for it it will be in a box and it'll fly in and it, then you will pop out and then you'll um, close the box so it doesn't get out how did you come up with this idea 
I did it. Thank you. That, that is all, all for asking tiny humans tiny questions with a tiny microphone. Back to the anchors. That was some interesting response. That was all for your weekly broadcast. This is McKenna and Caitlin signing, signing off. off.